All right, so I'm going to give uh, the updates for the OBF for 2022. Um, I'm going to fly through a bunch of slides because I just got a lot going on. Uh, so what is the OBF? We are invested in having people who are members who are interested in uh, open source, open science, bioinformatics. So anything that's related to biology, this could be everything from developing software tools to developing standards. Uh, we have a link at the bottom here for joining OBF. We've got a great board. Um, we actually are talking about actually adding another member of the board. We're going to have elections likely after BOSS sometime later in the year. We'll announce these on our membership list. If you are interested in joining the board, let us know. Um, we are actively really, really wanting people to have a play a bigger leadership role in, in, in helping us out. What do we do? So the big ones are the self-managing projects. These are the bio projects that everyone's well aware of. So the BioPerl, BioPython, BioJava, and so forth. But we do have an active um, affiliated project plan in place. We have this ability for projects to become affiliates for OBF. If you're interested in actually becoming a project, we have a policy now that you can follow. We also have a newsletter. We do need an editor. Um, so Bastion has been taking this on for the last year, I believe, and we are actively wanting uh, somebody to take over this role in a, a, a bigger capacity. So we try to issue these out a couple of times a year. If um, you're interested, you can jump right in. We are trying to get something out after BOSS 2022. Um, user submissions are greatly welcome, um, and we have these actually maintained on GitHub. So Nomi's actually talked about Bosk and COFA, so I don't have to go into a lot of details on those. Um, and Nomi's did a tremendous amount of work on getting Bosk up and running. Um, this has been going since 20, 20, uh, 2000, and this is the 23rd. For COFAS, um, she also mentioned that we will have a hybrid uh, session down here at the bottom, online in person after uh, 2022, I think. Is that correct? Is it at Madison Public Library, right? Yeah. OK. So if you're interested in CoFest, okay, and I think uh, Thomas is online, is that correct? So they will be on the Slack channels if you want to participate. For the Google Summer of Code, um, this has been, what, year 12 that we've uh, participated in the Summer of Code. So we're an umbrella project for open source bioinformatics, not just the bio projects. Um, this is actually much broader now, as you'll see in a second. So we have two admins, Melissa Black and Yo. Um, Yo actually headed this up, I believe, last year. Um, the, the mentors have also played a tremendous role. I've actually been a mentor for OBF and for Summer Code in the past, and it's a great opportunity to get involved. Um, we have seven uh, projects this year. Um, out of these projects, I can point out that none of these are the bio projects. These are actually all independent open source projects that we support. We have adapted a, adopted the code of conduct. So we wanted to improve diversity and inclusion in bioinformatics, and now we have an OBF-wide code of conduct that has officially been approved by the membership. So this is now on, on GitHub in our official documentation. Um, BioPerl, BioPython, and a number of the other projects have either adopted these or are in the process of adopting these. These cover um, any OBF-specific events. Um, ISCB is one exception. We are actually under the ISCB code of conduct. Um, but for any OBS specific events, including COFAS, this is what we use. So now we have a central point for reporting and handling. So we have the former travel, now event fellowship that's aimed at increasing uh, diverse participation in events, promoting open source bioinformatics software development. So this was started in 2016 as the official travel fellowship, so you can attend events, changed during COVID to a general event fellowship, so you can attend online events. Uh, we've given over 35 awards since this has been uh, initiated. We have a number of deadlines. We have a link here at the bottom if you're interested. Um, each of these covers up to $1,000, uh, covers travel expenses and everything, including childcare. And this is uh, uh, finally one of the things that I think is going to be great is this uh, supporting grassroots events. So we officially, or I said approved this in principle, we're launching a community support sponsorship scheme. So we're going to donate $1,000 to grassroots organizations who want to actually set up uh, their own their own events. So this could be workshops, this could be um, their own
own conferences and so forth. So we will sponsor those events for up to $1,000. This is a lump sum. There's no um, uh, expenses, claims, or anything that we have to worry about in those cases, which is kind of great for us. Um, but I think that this will actually take off and be really popular. So this is a, where, what else should we do? I think that the question for us is that we're all volunteers. Um, everyone that's on the board does this in a purely volunteer basis. So there are lots of things that we could help out with, opinion pieces on blogs, letters, and so forth. But really, this comes down to input from the community. So if you want to help us get something out there, uh, please contact us. We're, we're, we'll, we'll greatly appreciate it. And in conclusion, um, Nomi had links. Here's some example links for the website. We've been active, pretty active on Slack. Actually, I'd say more and more active than even the email list. Um, and then I want to acknowledge a whole list of people, the OBF members, the board members, SBI, um, some of our code team who's done a fantastic job. And that's it. That's it. If anybody has any questions afterwards.